Hey everyone, welcome to the SIU ARC Rhino tutorial series. In this tutorial I'll be going over extruding curves, solids, and basic surfaces. So first I want to apologize if uh, I didn't clearly explain what uh, the curve command and how a curve in Rhino is defined as any line. It could be any straight line that's defined by two points and that equals a curve. So if that causes any confusion I apologize. Um, but in this one, I'm going to start off by drawing a basic curve, and I want to use the extrude command to make this into a surface. So I'll just type in extrude to the command line, and I get several options up here. So this, I'll just arbitrarily place it up, and I have a curve. Say I want I went over the rectangle command and the polygon and the circle command. Um, say I want a polygon defined by a center and a radius. So this is an octagon. Define that and I hit this extrude command again. Extrude curve. It gives various options. Uh, your cap probably defaults to no. Um, so what happens then is if I draw this upwards, I have a surface that's just kind of a hollow tube. So I can control Z, re-click, right click, and then in the option that says cap, I put yes. You can see on my screen how that has created um, a poly surface, or what is called a poly surface. So we'll go into perspective. And if this isn't showing up um, on your viewport, if it's showing up like this, then in, it's in wireframe. So you can change this setting by up here in the top icons. You can just click your shaded viewport and it'll appear as it is on my screen. So this has become a solid object. Now we can create solids from primitive objects that are pre-built into Rhino. You can create a box uh, corner that's defined by its corner to corner. So I draw the corner I want the other one to be three feet. I'll make it four feet. And then you can draw up its height, ten. I have a three foot by four foot by a ten foot tall box. Now there's various other surface commands, there's solid commands that you can use that are pre built into Rhino. You can do a cylinder. You can do all these solid commands um, in a shortcut if you have a closed curve down at the bottom and extrude it up. Um, these built-in solid commands are kind of shortcuts to that. There are other reasons that you would want to extrude curves upward um, if you want to create more complex things like this curve down here. So you can create spheres, um, an ellipsoid, if I want a sphere. Now these are called solid objects, but what they really are is a poly surface. So a box would basically just be six sides, so it's six surfaces that are joined together into one solid object. Is I mean, it's, they're not really solid if you take a section cut through it there will be a hollow middle so if I explode this and use the explode command now we have different surfaces you can see and now you can see into it um, and you can drag these off and separate this box into pieces so now we have pieces of our box I'll go ahead and delete all of these. Um, pretty much solids are pretty 
self-explanatory. Uh, I can't really go over every single one of these, but my suggestion is to go through and play with these. If you want a Taurus, you can do some cool things. Just it makes this little ring shape. Um, lipsoids so you can just play with the preset definitions of what these are now we can get into basic surfaces which your surface command is on this button icon over to your left or you can drop down like we can do with anything else um, I'll go over more complex surfaces in later tutorials, so right now we'll stick with the basics. This is a corner surface, so I'm going to define a surface by a set of points. Just arbitrarily draw points out, and now we have a surface at wherever I've drawn each corner point. If I want to base it off three points, hit enter, and this creates a triangular type surface on the screen. So you can play with that and you can draw points to different geometries that you have on the screen um, as you can, with the snap, different snap commands that we've gone over. So you can also just draw a very simple rectangular plane so just like the box, the difference between this is it doesn't create a box. If I wanted to turn this into a box, it would be very easy. Instead of extrude curve, you can use the extrude surface command. So if I type in extrude to the command line, extrude surface becomes an option. And now we can take this and extrude it. I have my cap on. If you want, I could extrude it in both sides. So whichever direction or whichever height it's extruded in, it gets extruded in the other direction as well. And now we have another box based off a of surface. So it's important to note that you can extrude these based off a surface or a curve. So if I want, I've extruded um, a very simple closed curve. Now if I want an object, so I'll, just, I'll just do a very arbitrary free-formed curve and close it off. If I want this to be one surface, because it's you know, on one plane, it's represented on the X and Y plane, the XY plane. I can take this and go to the command surface from planar curves. So what this does is take your curve has to be closed. So if I have another uh, a bunch of curves, I'll do a polyline. So these represent one closed continuous curve. And I'll do my surface, and that creates a surface out of that as well. So if I drag this off and explode it, make these single individual line segments, I can highlight them. and it can also create a surface. So they don't necessarily have to be joined together just as long as your lines are closed off. So one thing we can do with this too, since this is a very irregular shape, and we want to make this into solid object, we can take the same extrude command which can also be found down in this drop down. So that's the extrude curve. I can extrude the curve, put my cap on, 
and make a solid object out of very irregular shape. The extrude surface command is found under or the, is found under this box. So that's found down here. You can take this. Uh, I don't want both sides on. I'll just come up. I can turn my intersection snap on or uh, near snap and I can snap it to the same height as the box that I've drawn over here. So that was using extrude surface. If I want to take that and extrude it in irregular directions, you can extrude them to a point. You can extrude them tapered. You can extrude along a curve. We'll get to the more of these commands later on. But the tapered extrude, you can see, it extrudes up at an angle. And you can change the angle at which you want it to extrude. If I want it to sit negative right now, and the negative extrusion is going inward. So if I wanted a positive 10, that would extrude it outwards in a tapered fashion. So these are various ways to create solid objects and poly surfaces. As you can see this, it breaks it down into whenever there's a dark edge along your object that means that it's defining it as another surface and the light lines are lines along one surface they're called isocurves but we can get more into that later on so that will conclude this tutorial hope you learned something thanks for watching